Peter Thurnwald may not be a household name just yet, but he plans to be. Paramount Plus fans know the Australian actor as Foresight from Players, and he's starring in Netflix's To All the Boys I've Ever Loved spinoff, Exo Kitty. While visiting L.A., he sat down with me and revealed acting has become deeply personal. We thought we'd bring you to Beachwood Cafe, a Hollywood staple. Yeah. Peter Thurnwald yeah. met us for coffee at the very colorful and historic Beachwood Canyon hotspot, Beachwood Cafe. What are you going to get? Um, oh my, that is so many coffees. With so many choices, yep. Thurnwald opted for black coffee and admitted the cafe reminded him of Sydney Brecky spots. What I know about Australians is you guys can be coffee snobs. And I'm the biggest coffee snob. So I need you to try your coffee. Okay. With no milk or sugar or anything. No, you're drinking a black. Be, yeah. That's how you ordered it. You know, actually, that's not that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Why did you think it was going to be bad? I have this. Th okay, the first time I came to America, I ate at a Denny's, and I had the <laughs> Denny's coffee, and it really just felt like I was drinking like liquid charcoal. So that was nice, and I feel like I'm scarred forever from there. While we're far away from a Denny's, Thurnwald is far away from home in LA in more ways than one. You were born in South Korea? Yes. And you were adopted? I was. By Australians? Yes. Okay, so that's how you ended up on the Gold Coast. Yes, two very, very white Australians. I had a very, a very um, Australian upbringing with like beach cricket and like street cricket and uh, just played a million sports. He grew up on the Gold Coast in Australia with parents who were doctors that initially drove him to pursue other interests than acting at the University of Queensland. I studied physics for a year, so I did want to be in the sciences. You gave it your best shot. I did. He quit and applied to Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts in Perth, the same school to produce actors like Hugh Jackman and other famous Aussies. So far away, it's this little bubble. Um, and you do get some really great actors. I think like our latest like uh, kind of notable alumni, which is like Sam Corlett, who is doing Valhalla at the moment, and Stacey Montgomery, who is in Stranger Things, and he's doing amazing things for himself. Um, and so, I think being in that community as well just fosters more love for the crafts um, as well as being like, yeah, I can do it. Like this isn't something that is big and scary. While studying the craft he loves, Thurnwald got an education in self-discovery. Yeah. Right now you're trying to find your birth mother. Yeah, and that kind of all happened. Um, I had a very early quarter life crisis. So when I was 18, I, 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 I was most 18 year olds, they don't really know what they're gonna, what, what they want to do with their life. Um, and I was taking these few acting classes and all of a sudden just had this like urge to go and look for my mother. Were you almost drawn to acting because you don't have a full identity? Are you telling, are you saying that my wound is causing me to express emotions I don't know, has a therapist told you that? <laughs> What do you think? Every therapist tells me that. I mean, I love acting because I get to explore people's identities and really get to the bottom of who they are. And I think maybe def there's definitely a correlation between that um, and my adoption, uh, not quite really understanding who I was for a very long time. Ready for the big presentation? Fresh out of school, Peter was cast in the Australian hit show Bump. He then went on to the role Foresight in the CBS Paramount Plus League of Legends show Players. With greatness comes high expectations. And now fans can catch him in Netflix's To All the Boys I've Ever Loved spinoff, Exo Kitty. It's about Kitty Song Cubby, who flies over to Korea to attend the Korean International School of Seoul to basically be with her long distance boyfriend. And it doesn't really end up as she would expect. It may just be his most personal project yet. Going back to South Korea with Exo Kitty was potentially an opportunity for me to begin searching again, which was scary, actually. I, I kind of almost got cold feet, yeah. So how did you get over that? Well, immersing myself in Korean culture again, I think healed a bit of that, um, that yearning to wanting to find her, seeing the buildings and um, the signs and everything. It just kind of, I felt this like sense of pride 
being back and seeing people that looked like me, uh, we're talking Korean, it definitely scratched the itch a lot more than I thought it would. Is there a hope that maybe your mom watches, sees it, reaches out, kind of has a memory? I don't know anything about her at all. Um, it, it's hard enough to find anyone in the world, let alone I was kind of, I definitely wasn't like a doorstep baby. I wasn't just like on the adoption agency, but um, I know for a fact I was given like a fake last name. Maybe, hopefully she'll look at me on screen and just have that just maternal, like that has to be my son. Um, but, you know, if, if that doesn't happen, then I won't be upset. It just, I think it would be nice. As for the future, Thurnwald says he didn't grow up with any Asian male actor influences and is excited that there are more roles. He's also started producing his own television series. And while here in Los Angeles, Peter plans to do all the touristy things like hike to the Hollywood sign and visit Venice Beach. He'd love to go back and forth someday between Los Angeles and Australia. And now he enjoys the coffee. Like <laughs> now he knows that there's <laughs> He's getting a into it. But that is a really interesting phenomenon. You know, these people trying to find their, their birth parents and crazier things have happened. I mean, you hear stories about this kind of stuff every day. And I'm rooting yeah. for him. You know, he said that he doesn't know his last name was fake. You know, it was at a time that his mother may never have told his father that he was being born. So he's really, he's done the Ancestry.com. He's done 23andMe. He's done all these things. Still hasn't found her. So this is his last kind of shot. I think it's kind of an urge to know your um, origins your origin, that yeah. only people who are in that position can understand, right? Absolutely. That, that need to know. Well, good luck to him. Yes. I hope it works.